Sitting on my patio is the closest I'll get to an exotic vacation this summer. I'm trying to save my money. But as the province emerges from the pandemic, Albertans are the most likely in the country to say they're in debt. But one financial expert says that's not stopping us from spending. Nearly half of Albertans are doubtful they can even cover living expenses this year. The new MNP Consumer Debt Index shows that while 30% of Canadians say they're in debt, that number jumps to 35 when talking to Albertans. But surprisingly, only 25% in the province say they're financially insolvent. While the rest of the country says they've cut back on spending, half of Albertans say they haven't. More than half uh, are saying that they're taking advantage of the low interest rates that were provided during the pandemic. For anybody here in Alberta, you've, you've probably seen a bunch of your neighbors doing landscaping. You've probably seen that the RVs, the campers, are, uh, all those lots are, are empty. Landry says the reason behind Alberta's spending ways is the province's oil economy history and several years of low oil prices heading into the pandemic. There was people who did very well when, when oil is good, and there's people who spent everything when oil was good, and that meant that anything they had while oil was bad, um, it got spent. And so then turn that into a pandemic, all of the savings that you've had is already gone. And while spending is obviously necessary to stimulate a post-COVID economy, that's not the best option for your bank account. Don't rush out to return to pre-pandemic spending habits. We don't know that this is the end of it. We don't know that everything is going to change for the better. In Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.